Isaiah chapter 60 has to be one of the most exciting and encouraging chapters in all of Scripture. It gives us a glimpse of the regathering and restoration of Israel, something the world has been waiting for, that the nation of Israel has been waiting for for a long, long time. When will it happen? In the future, at the second coming of Jesus Christ. When Jesus comes back and sets his feet on planet Earth and establishes his kingdom here for a thousand years. And there's so much that we can learn about this millennial kingdom from Isaiah 60. First, the kingdom of God is a kingdom of eternal light. The constant battle described in scripture between light and darkness is done. It's over as Jesus brings back with him the glory of God, a light that cannot be extinguished, that shines brightly day and night. All the Jewish people will return to their homeland. What we see happening in Israel today is but a precious preview of what will occur when all the sons of Israel come home. Riches from all over the world will also pour into Israel. The wealth of the Gentiles will flood into the nation as an offering to God and to beautify the city and the millennial temple. Israel will no longer be a disgrace. Those who opposed Israel will come and bow down. They will bring their best to offer Israel, and violence will end forever. Why will these things happen? God's response is this, so that you shall know that I, the Lord, am your Savior and your Redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. God does this great thing so the world will know that it's his doing. In the kingdom to come, the Lord will be an everlasting light. Land battles will end as the Jewish people inherit their land forever. And when this future time comes, everything mentioned here will happen very quickly. It almost sounds too good to be true. And I love what Bible commentator David Guzik says about that. The promise seems too good to be true, and we are conditioned to think that if it seems too good to be true, it is. But God is too good not to be true. The nation of Israel, regathered and restored as Jesus, our Savior, sets up the kingdom of heaven on earth. That's Isaiah 60. 